Hey everybody, today, how to be spiritual AF. In this episode, some of Zen Rose Garden's best spiritual quotes of all time. All time. I'm Heather. And I'm David. From Zen Rose Garden. But home. Yes. Helping people create badass lives. So we want to throw down some of our personal favorite spiritual quotes. Do unto others as we would have them do unto you. That's a really simple one from Christianity, which is basically, it says what it is, folks. If you don't want somebody talking smack about you, don't go talking smack about somebody else. Don't say something to someone else uh, behind their back. Don't say something say some behind that doesn't that come up. Don't talk right. to people. <laughs> No. Don't say anything to no. anyone else. What I'm saying is, it's an example. If Don't you're talking smack behind somebody's back, you better be willing to say it to their face. That's what I'm trying to say. Apparently, I couldn't say it to your face. I was helping. Yes. She another, was talking behind my back. In front of your back. So another one that I love from Christianity is love one another. I think that was Beatles. No, that's there's only love. That's oh. Love is all you need. No, love one another is another... Anyway. I think Jesus said it a long time ago. I think Jesus the... was a hipster. I'm okay. just saying. Love one another from classic Christianity. If you're loving one another, you get no time to hate one another. Take it back to the class. It solves a lot of problems. Yep. And here's one of our favorites from Buddhism. You will not be punished for your anger. You will be punished by your anger. Anger is a toxic thing, man. It just poisons the soul. Yeah, so, you man. know, work it out. Get rid of it. Don't do that, That's man. That's why I got my Grateful Dead shirt on. Just chill out, man. Bang some drums. Yeah. Wear your hemp hat. Yeah, man. It's all good. Yeah, man. <laughs> okay. From philosophy, we are shaped by our thoughts. We are what we think. We become what we think. We think we are what we think. The more you think something, the more it manifests out into you, into your world. The more you begin to act like what you are thinking. There's just no two ways about it. If you're going to point your car in one direction, it's going to go in that direction. Plain and simple. Thoughts become you. Mm -hmm. There you go. And from our favorite, the DL himself, Dalai Lama. My religion is very simple. Kindness. Get out a lot of sticky situations by just being kind. Yep. You don't have your Einstein shirt on, do you? I do. Oh! Bam! I was like, man, you should wear your Einstein shirt for this. And he had it on. He didn't even know. Okay. Well, this one? From Albert Einstein himself. Unthinking respect for authority is the greatest enemy of truth. In other words, if you are caught up into any ideology, any dogma, without question, without thought, then you become a prisoner to that system. Right. If you can't think for yourself, then you're not thinking. Spiritual systems and philosoph philosophical systems and religious systems are meant to have questions brought up, to uh, have creativity going on, to what do you think about this, what do you think about this, this is how our mind expands. Our consciousness expands and indeed how these systems were created in the first place by people questioning and creating things around those questions which becomes a quest for truth a quest for knowledge a quest for growth but if you get stuck in this okay you start with an open system so you've got this open system of questions and answers and curiosity and then you start dialing into only one way to be the system ends up breaking because there's no more expansion. Too rigid. So there's a little classic piece of information that most people miss in a traditional story of the classic Bible of Christianity and Judaism. And that is the Garden of Eden story where Adam and Eve are presented with this tree and told not to eat the fruit of it because it's the free of the not the free. The free it's of the, the free tree, tree <laughs> of the knowledge of the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil. So when you wow. eat the fruit of the tree, 
When you eat the fruit of the tree, then you are able to know the difference between good and evil. But you can't eat the fruit. But there's also a caveat where if, if you eat it, you'll be cast out in uh, this pristine Beautiful garden. Eden. So that's like, mm, we want to stay here. But there's also a commandment that says, hey, go out into the world and create stuff and, and replenish and do stuff. But, go forth and multiply. But in order to do that, you have to leave the garden. But you can't leave the garden unless you eat the fruit. Hmm. Conundrum? So... Adam was like, okay, that's no problem. But I Eve, will not eat the fruit. He was like, hmm, I'm going to have to break a rule in order to do the bigger rule that we were given. So mm -hmm. she ate the fruit of the knowledge so that she could see the bigger picture. Boom. That's how we made applesauce. <laughs> anyway. And that <laughs> is how apples are made, babies. <laughs> The last one is don't be a tool, and that is... This harkens from the 1600s, early 1600s, don't be a tool. Actually, no. The term tool comes from the 1600s. Yes. The quote, don't be a tool, comes from me and my frustration in one day that I was just saying, hey, just don't be a tool. That's the easiest That's philosophy of life. Happiness. Mm -hmm. You get to inner peace by not being a tool. Yeah. Um, so what does being a tool mean? I looked it up and it, David Sarita comes from the early 1600s. Being a tool is someone who has no self-awareness, that has no boundaries. So a tool is somebody that just doesn't get it. They're that guy at the party. Hmm. Hmm. That eats fruit. Who drinks up all your alcohol. All my liquor? Yeah. Oh boy. Okay, That's staying in there. <laughs> Is it? Yes. That's staying in there for Anna. You might never come down. We want to thank one of our badass subscribers. Ms. Responsibility. Thank you for all your support, for all your comments, and all your likes, and all your loves, and all that love yes. and love and love. Thank you very much. For more badass life tips, be sure to subscribe. And click that bell to turn notifications on. And we'll see you in the next video.